Hello folks, welcome to the School of Commerce. Our today's session is about evolution of accounting standards. Millions of investors put their money into thousands of companies all over the world and business organizations are generally bound to prepare financial statements for not only their creditors and investors but also for the tax and government authorities. Without regulatory standards, companies would be free to present their financial information in whichever format that best suits their needs. In the absence of regulatory standards, the companies have the ability to portray its financial standing in a favorable manner which could easily mislead the investors. This is where the generally accepted accounting principles play its role of making the business reporting entities follow the common set of accepted accounting principles, standards and procedures while preparing and presenting the financial statements. Therefore, GAAP is a combination of authoritative standards and the commonly accepted ways of recording and reporting accounting information. But since every country followed their own GAAP based on their own government regulations and policies in the style of conducting businesses, it became difficult for overseas companies to compare each other's financial statements and made it difficult for companies to invest in each other. So, to solve this problem, a common language of accounting was necessary. This is when the International Accounting Standards was introduced. Initially, International Accounting Standards Group was formed to create uniformity and reliability in the way business is reported. But later, with the view of achieving the objective of setting global standards, the London-based group, namely the International Accounting Standards Committee, was established in June 1973 for developing IAS. Between 1973 to 2001, the IASC released various international accounting standards and the members of IASC undertook responsibility to support the standards developed by IASC and to propagate those standards in their respective countries. Between 1997 and 1999, the IASC restructured their organization which resulted in the formation of International Accounting Standards Board. Therefore, International Accounting Standards Board came into effect on 1st April 2001, which subsequently issued statements about current and future standards. IASB publishes its standards in a series of pronouncements called International Financial Reporting Standards. However, IASB has not rejected the standards issued by IASC and those pronouncements continue to be designated as IAS. Therefore, the standards issued by IASC till 31st March 2001 are known as International Accounting Standards and the standards issued by IASB since 1st April 2001 are known as International Financial Reporting Standards. The term Financial Reporting Standards comprises of IFRS issued by IASB, IAS issued by IASC, Interpretations issued by Standard Interpretations Committee and IFRS Interpretations Committee of the IASB. IFRS establish broad rules rather than dictating specific treatments and hence they are considered principle-based set of standards. Therefore, the basic objective of accounting standards is to ensure that there are no differences in the approach to accounting and to standardize the presentation of accounts. While major nations are moving towards adapting the IFRS, there are other nations like India who converge to IFRS. The Government of India in consultation with the ICAI decided to converge and not to adapt IFRS, issued by the IASAB. Therefore, this gave way to the establishment of IND-AS and while formulating IND-AS, efforts have been made to keep Indian accounting standards in line with the corresponding IAS, IFRS and carve-ins and carve-outs have been made were considered about absolutely essential. Therefore, we would like to conclude by telling that ensuring compliance with relevant accounting standards while preparing financial statements is the responsibility of the management of the enterprise to disseminate timely and useful information to investors and other stakeholders and the evolution of the accounting standards has reduced the accounting alternatives in the preparation of financial statements within the bounds of rationality.
thereby ensuring compatibility of financial statements of different enterprises. Thank you. Hope you like the video. If you like, please like, subscribe and share. Kaif Sultana signing off.